Democratic candidates are hoping to gain steam from a very specific group, the tens of thousands of cooks, room attendants, servers, rep by the Culinary Workers Union 226. They made sure to pay their respects to the politically powerful Culinary Union. They want culinaries embrace, you know, the face of the new Nevada. They see those red shirts everywhere. They go to the town halls because that endorsement really does matter. This group is made up of 60,000 Nevadans. Culinary Union members from 178 different countries speaking more than 40 different languages. The union has also helped more than 18,000 immigrants become U.S. citizens, making new voters. In Nevada, we know how powerful the Culinary Union can be and is. The Democratic presidential field has been eagerly awaiting an endorsement from the powerful Culinary Union. While we've been on the air, they made their announcement. The results, please. The state's powerful Culinary Union declined to endorse a candidate. And the official announcement is we're going to endorse our goal. It's that one job to be an for families keeping our health care and have a choice, uh, having immigration report for 11 million people. Our goal is to defeat Trump. We have to defeat Donald Trump in 2020. We can't have another four years. A housekeeper, a dishwasher, a cook, a cocktail waitress is at the center of the universe right now. I say, what do we want? And what do we want it? The state of Nevada is third in line to vote in the primary contest, a labor union dominated by women and Latinos could decide the winner. Both sides recognize this. The Republicans are afraid of what the culinary can do, and the Democrats want the culinary to do what it can do. I'm outside of the Palms. This is where culinary union members, supporters, and Democratic presidential candidates were picketing. The picket line, the courting of the union vote was in full swing. One by one, every top candidate on the Nevada ballot marched with workers. The Democratic presidential debate. Live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Senators, I'm going to stay on this topic, on this issue with the Culinary Union. To my good friends in the Culinary Workers Union, a great union. I've been to the Culinary Union's healthcare facilities. They're terrific. These are hardworking people, housekeepers. Like the Culinary Union here in Las Vegas that has done such a good job of lifting up workers. 84 years, this is our first time the Culinary Union is going to be a boarding site. This Culinary Union location running smoothly. The Culinary Union, a very influential political force. The men and women who make Las Vegas go. And they have a lot of members and they have a lot of clout. Culinary Union members have been voting on the Strip for the past couple of days at early voting sites. They have at-large precincts on the Strip where they can vote on caucus day. They're a huge constituency. The Culinary Workers Union, which is the most powerful union in Nevada, known for, you know, turning the tides and close elections. Governor Steve Sisolak announcing the closure of all non-essential businesses in Nevada. That includes casinos. The Nevada Culinary Union issued this statement of saying, health and safety are priorities as we face this now global crisis. The Culinary Union is sending requests to casino companies to meet immediately and bargain the effects of the coronavirus. The union wants to assure its members is doing everything that it can to take care of those members, extending health care coverage during this period for those laid off or those who now work reduced hours. Union organizers say they're also working on a plan to help members sign up for unemployment, learn how to talk to the landlords about rent, and also how to manage their finances. Unite here, calling on the federal government for a stimulus package to help hospitality workers. Our industry has been devastated by this current crisis. From a very empty Las Vegas Strip where overnight casinos shut their doors, you're looking at the Bellagio now boarded up, and thousands of workers will be out of work. 98% of the Culinary Union members are out of work. A lot of community members are worrying about getting food. The Culinary Academy of Las Vegas going to be hosting a large food basket drive to those impacted by COVID. 15,000 baskets for those who are in need. These are people who otherwise wouldn't be able to have their next meal. Nevada, of course, are dark because of the coronavirus. Union leaders are taking aim at the casino industry. The Culinary Union revealed they have 60,000 members laid off right now. The union secretary treasurer also touched on the top priority is the safety and health of the employees and customers. Right now, all together, we have to hold in hands and go through this global crisis. Nevada's Culinary Workers Union responded to the mayor's comment saying the mayor's statements, they are outrageous considering essential frontline workers have been dealing with the consequences of this crisis. 
The Culinary Union is calling on landlords to freeze rents. It's requesting landlords pledge to freeze rents at their current rate for one calendar year. The Culinary and Bartenders Unions will fight to ensure all workers are retained and do not have to reapply for their jobs, that their seniority remains intact, and that all workers are offered extended recall rights. Here are some of the highlights. On prevention, testing workers for the virus protection, PPEs made available to both workers and guests, enhanced cleaning, frequent and intensive cleaning. Look at all the cars stacked up, a couple of miles worth, not just here approaching the Union, but all the way back on Charleston up to I-15. You've got thousands and thousands that they want the resorts they work for to be transparent about what reopening will look like and that safety for the Union membership is kept in mind as a top priority. It continues to move its way very slowly down uh, Las Vegas Boulevard, but Culinary Union members are caravanning vehicles down the Strip. More than 10,000 culinary employees drove up and down the Las Vegas Strip this week as part of an effort to get casinos to implement stronger public health policies and disclose their full reopening plans. Yesterday, the culinary announced they want casino companies to be transparent and share their reopening plans with the public, making sure that their 60,000 members, as well as tourists, will be protected. <laughs> Culinary Union speaking out to condemn black lives lost to police violence. The group released a statement. It reads in part, we will not be silent if black people are systematically and institutionally discriminated against. As our communities are under attack, we will stand up and organize to ensure that black lives and black work matters. Well, the Culinary Union is going to be staying on top of casinos to make sure employees are protected. The union launched a website, Culinary Clean, to track what resorts are doing. They have five parameters. Do the casinos require daily cleaning of guest rooms, mandatory COVID-19 testing of all employees before returning to work, adequate PPE for workers, do they enforce social distancing measures and have they posted safety plans on the public website? The Culinary Union is asking for better protection now for casino employees against the coronavirus. The union says workers and their families deserve more protections. The Culinary Union is demanding the Nevada Gaming Control Board issue new guidelines to protect all casino employees. Workers in Las Vegas suing casinos over coronavirus safety concerns. Las Vegas hospitality workers filed a lawsuit this week arguing certain casinos in Nevada failed to protect protect their employees from COVID-19. Members are concerned that management at some hotels and casinos in the Valley will not properly protect workers. The Culinary Union says its members are not working in safe conditions. It is proposing now a statewide mandate to protect those they say are most at risk. It's called the Adolfo Fernandez Bill, named after a Caesars Palace employee who died after getting COVID-19. These union representatives say they are simply asking for worker and customer protection here. Representatives are now proposing a state bill be placed on the agenda for the 2020 special legislative session to ensure more safety measures are taken. The Culinary Union is demanding changes and wants Governor Sisolak, the Nevada legislature, and casino companies to help. I was such a happy, big-hearted person. Irma Fernandez pushes through her pain to share memories of her late father. He was strong and healthy. Adolfo Fernandez died of COVID-19 complications last month. We've been letting know the leaders in the state about the needs they have. That's why they proposed the Adolfo Fernandez bill to mandate casino cleaning procedures and social distancing while also requiring temperature checks and regular testing. We have another top story that affects thousands of you watching. The Culinary Union has been fighting to protect workers during this pandemic and now this morning they say they've reached a historic agreement with MGM Resorts and Caesars Entertainment and the key protections include expanded family health benefits for those workers even if they've been laid off. Workers also get 10 paid quarantine days and recall rights that will last for two years. Secretary will open the roll. The vote on Senate Bill 4, having received a constitutional majority, is declared passed and ordered to the Assembly. The Assembly did pass Senate Bill 4 shortly before midnight. It now goes to Governor Steve Sisolak's desk. It's called the Adolfo Fernandez Bill, named for a Las Vegas culinary worker who died of COVID-19. The culinary union says this is something they've been pushing for. And Adolfo Fernandez's daughter says he would be glad to see it come to pass. The culinary union reacting to the bill on Twitter. Happy it included hospitality workers from Bellagio to Motel 6.
My family and I are honored to have this bill signed into law today in honor of him. I wish he was here to witness this. He would be so happy about these new protections. It will help many workers and their families. The bill also includes enhanced cleaning protocols for casinos and safety protections for hospitality workers. A big win for the culinary union. They're urging county commissioners to pass a new ordinance they call the right to return. This ordinance would require employers to offer all workers, union and non-union, throughout several industries, the right to return to their jobs when the business reopens. We all deserve the right to return to our jobs. 98% of the culinary union workers were furloughed from their jobs in March, and about 50% are still not working. Today I'm here to talk to you about how cuts to health care and unemployment have affected my life. Workers must be protected when they return to work and how job security and the right to return to our jobs when businesses reopen can give me and thousands of workers in Nevada the hope we need to get through this pandemic. State rally outside the Clark County Commission this morning calling for a right to return ordinance requiring employers to offer laid off workers the right to return to work. Led by the powerful culinary union, this rally aims to push the county commission to propose a right to return ordinance. Look every worker and see behind them is a family and to protect them. Arguello Klein says that an ordinance like this would ensure that their members have peace of mind. Culinary Union throwing their support behind the Biden-Harris ticket for the 2020 election. The Culinary Union saying Donald Trump is a threat to the livelihoods of workers and our families, and we will deliver Nevada for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and candidates who will fight to protect Nevadans. It's on a mission to mobilize tens of thousands of hospitality workers here in Nevada. But the only Democratic group canvassing a person this year is the Culinary the most potent Huge. democratic force in Nevada politics. The Culinary Union showing its political muscle today in the upcoming election. Since August 1st, 250 culinary door knockers have been hitting Las Vegas neighborhoods six days a week. The culinary bills it as the biggest election effort in the state. For us, the election of voting early is now. The culinary has made defeating Donald Trump priority number one. If Biden wins Nevada, he will win on the muscle of this union and his influence in Vote Rich Clark County. We need to put somebody in office who's going to have respect for the American people. The culinary union is the most powerful and influential union in Nevada. They live up to their reputation by organizing and canvassing like this during election years. In a Las Vegas neighborhood, Susanna Lola goes door to door for the powerful culinary union. I'm doing this because I have kids and grandkids and I want a better future for them. Culinary Union getting ready to launch its largest get out the boat effort. The Culinary Union making one last push. You might have some strangers knocking on your door later today as hundreds of hospitality workers will start going door to door in a last minute effort to drive people to the polls today. With the Culinary Union very powerful here, a democratic stronghold, so it does not bode well uh, for President Trump. The Culinary Union has been organizing for decades. Despite the pandemic and its members hard hit by job losses, the union knocked on over 450,000 doors. Un unmute yourself, everybody. We want to hear your voices. Who's going to lead us today? You. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.